thank you for the time Rick. This will probably take me personally a little longer than three minutes. As you're looking at as you're looking at your deal here, uh, of these photos, I want to backtrack here. This all started with me on four one of this month. <coughs> Sitting at the intersection there of ninety second and Powell going eastbound. Ambulance going south or northbound on ninety second. Ambulance gets through the intersection. Two vehicles, two regular cars in front of the bus there, which was bus number 2523, um, go through a yellow light. Your operator goes plumb through a red light. I'm halfway in the intersection before I notice it. And I'm also driving a big crew cab lifted for a truck. Had I not caught it up the corner of my eye, guy with a T bone in. One or both of us would have been injured. I didn't know it at the time that you couldn't go on to any one of the traffic garages to file a complaint. Once in a pile garage, followed the bus driver there. Went inside, young lady, I can't remember her name. I'm fresh off the road, I'm now a manager. What can I do for you? So I told her the story, gave her all my information, explained everything. It was kind of hot. Um, you know what, I'm going to check into this and I'll get back to you. Well, she called me later that afternoon and she spoke to the driver and she was supposedly going to request the tapes. Nevertheless, I was guaranteed within seven to ten days that I would get some sort of response, as I'm going to ask you people to do, on each one of these. I personally would like to get a response by mail or phone. I want to know something's been taken care of. <clears throat> I told her thank you. Well, we're almost a month into it, never received anything. Um, on the night of the 25th, Dave and I were sitting there at that intersection. Sure enough, at 620, 2523 again, different operator. Barrels right through the light. We go to the garage. Um, asked the, uh, asked, actually asked the driver if she knew it was a red light, and she proceeded to play stupid. I asked her for her name, she wouldn't give it to me. She gave me an operator number, which I believe to be false, um, which is a four-digit number. I don't know if that's accurate or not. Operator number of uh, 3973. Um, the office was closed there, so but anyways, yesterday morning, David and I are sitting there again at about 8, eight o'clock when we started this, and now I'm mad. I want to get proof. So that way people know I'm not just standing there and telling a lie. First bus goes through the intersection, just wipes the intersection out. Just don't even pay attention to it. So we go to the garage. Not only did I try to file a complaint, I was instructed by Mr. Phil Davis that I can't do it. I have to do it by phone. I started to proceed to tell this guy, well, I didn't have to last time. He starts yelling at me, literally raising his voice. I told him two or three times, don't disrespect me when I'm trying to do something that I'm not familiar with. I explained to him, this is what the person before said, this is what the person before did. I don't know what the right protocol is. I still don't today. I don't know if the lady was telling me the truth, or if this Mr. Phil Davis was trying to get me out of there. He verbally assaulted me, close to physically assaulting me, because he kept pointing his fingers in my chest, telling me, that I'm, you know, whatever, whatever. David can back it up. Um, kept telling the guy to calm down. It's not worth it. Okay? I don't really care. Um, I forget what broke the ice. Oh, I asked him, I said, what's your name? I said, can I get your name? And he starts grabbing his tag, and he's got his badge down here. It's turned around, so you can't see a face or a name. He turns around, and he, he tells me, he says, can't you read? And I looked at him as he started going like this for a badge. I said, well, you ding -ling. If you had it turned around where I could see it, I wouldn't ask you what your name was. And it was from that point forth, the guy kind of calmed down. The guy was out of line. He was totally disrespectful. My opinion, the guy needs to, he, and he even bothered telling me he used to be a cop and about how he's seen plenty of death on the road and all this other stuff. So I told him my line of work and I told him, I said, I'll guarantee you I've seen more death than you have, but I'll guarantee you customers always right until proven wrong, plain and simple. The guy never gave me a chance whatsoever 
to be able to prove the system wrong on what I was told prior to eight a month. I still today have not received anything in the mail on the first incident. I was guaranteed I would. Now to kind of, one other thing, excuse me for taking so long here. Um, I know this thing will probably make TriMet happy. Uh, if I remember it last spring or last summer, you guys had a driver that was fired for reading a book on the freeway by driving. Your operator number, bus number 2303, reading a magazine and she comes up to the light. How I know it's a magazine, I can tell you it was a girly magazine of perfume and stuff like that because I can see it. Um, she's sitting there with the brake set because as the light turned green, as she went through it as a red light because she was one bus ahead of her, two cars <coughs> behind her, or behind the other bus, and then she went through. She reduces the brake. In my opinion, that's not a good safety deal. Somebody were to hit that bus, there's no cushion, in my opinion, but I'm not the brightest person. Um, you also got another driver, which one was that, that sees Dave and I filming and taping. She literally looks at us. What does she do? She goes through the red light, plain and simple, a big red light, and that's uh, 2252, which is on the pictures. After looking at us, knowing we're taping her or taking pictures of her, David's got a bunch of them on his phone video. That's not right. That's almost like um, I dare you. Correct me if I'm wrong. This is this is way out of line. Most of these buses they come over the hill on 92nd to get to Powell, and once they notice it's a yellow light. Once they get to that hill, you can hear they're giving it gas. They're giving it gas, a lot of gas. They go, a lot of those pictures we'll show you, they are clearly underneath, they're in the middle of the intersection on full blown red lights. So my question is, all this safety review and everything else is not working for TriMet. And I really doubt, and I'm not saying TriMet's not trying, I really doubt it's going to work in the future. Before you consider buying new buses, you probably should train the ones how to drive the current ones you have before they become wadded up and laying on the side of the road. Because I, like I said on the first, I almost got hit by a bus. Bus was in the intersection. I was in the intersection. No more than 15 feet apart from one another. And I had to stop to let him finish his turn. Unacceptable in my opinion. I'm asking you people today, I'm more than willing to give you my information to make sure that we have it and there are no miscommunications. I want a confirmation on these things, that they were dealt with. And whether or not you can tell me how they were dealt with as far as disciplinary actions, I don't know. I was told you could, and then the gentleman yesterday tells me you can't. Is that right or wrong? No, I, I would have to refer to Neil or somebody else in the I'll, I'll, uh, If you have privacy information, we'll definitely get that get the response back to you. That's what I promise. I, again, uh, we'll give you as much information as we can. It, it just needs to be dealt with, and it needs to be dealt with um, now that I've been involved in it. It needs to be dealt with quickly because this is something I'm not going to lighten up on, and I don't mean to take it out on you people. But you people are the ones that make the bus, the wheels on the bus go around and around. <laughs> it's not so much the ridership. Yeah, they're sponsored by paying for it, but it's ultimately you guys to make sure that they go down the road instead of being crooked. Well, I'd be glad just to sum it up within a matter of a couple of hours. It was actually 40 yeah, minutes that all these buses were running. It's serious, it's serious stuff. Running, 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 running. This is, yeah. If this is back, then we have a serious problem. So we will. Yeah. Um, well, this was in a 40 minute time frame. And that's just one intersection. Yeah, yeah just right. one intersection. That's one intersection is important. I'll just take 30 seconds. Okay. Um, last month I was here and I asked about um, what Fred Hansen had said in March of 2009, the legacy of my son and the safety reports that are done every year. So I wanted to know, nobody called me, nobody said anything, so I wanted to know if you found out anything. Safety reports? Yeah, last year, in two, March of 2009, Fred Hansen made comment in Salem that for the legacy of my son, that every year, because of the law that I passed, they had to change those 80 crosswalks, that every year they'd go back through the entire line and they would do studies. So I just wanted to see 2009.